How you doing guys? Today we are working on the front rims of my senior. Uh, as I indicated in one of my prior videos, you know, I was having a little bit of a difficulty centering the ring on the center and that was due to a couple situations. One, the spokes on the center itself, I, uh, after careful inspection, uh, really they're not, not all of them are perfectly 90 degrees coming off the center hub. The other thing I noticed too is that the center hub itself right here wasn't perfectly uh, true. So I had to deal with that. Also, I'm dealing with the rims themselves from Miller Tire. They're not perfectly true. They're, there is a little bit of a wobble or a little bit of a... If you look at it from this direction, there's a little bit of a curve in the rim itself. So I'm dealing with that also. So basically what I needed to do or what I need to do is kind of split the difference of all of the little nuances in order to true up the rim as close as I possibly can. So what I did first was go over to my friend's uh, machine shop, have a conversation with them. That's ultimately our decision. Uh, the other thing too is I'm gonna weld, hopefully this thing all together on my surface plate so that way we can kind of eliminate as much of the warping and the wobbling, uh, if you want to call it. So the first thing I did though, after talking to him, was to throw the center in the lathe and just barely kiss this front edge to make it as true as I possibly could. So that way when I put it on my surface plate and you know tighten everything down, basically clamp everything down, I know this is fairly straight or perpendicular to the, uh, to the surface plate itself. So let me get this stuff loosely affixed on the surface plate and I will tell you what my plan is next. I dug out the surface plate from the basement and I'm using the back side of the surface plate. I'm not going to use my use the, the really nice smooth side um, for the welding because I just don't want to screw up that that particular side by chance but as you can see I have it all I have it clamped down now basically what I did was I found where the wobble kind of started and it's really right in this area the rim wants to rock in this position so what I did was I clamped it down with these clamps to a point where it is as tight as I can get it on the surface plate surface plate itself excuse me uh, actually you probably should look over here on this side you can see we got very minimal light, if any. There's a couple little little spots where the light bleeds through. Actually, that is from the rim because there's nothing there. But in general, it is as tight as I can possibly get it on the surface plate in order to take the, the warp out of it. It actually did bend. It's kind of surprising, but I was able to get it bent. This has the machine side down. There's absolutely no wobble in this. This thing sits perfectly flat on the surface plate. The one thing I need to do is there is a little bit of space on either end of the spokes. So that center will kind of go like this. So I'm going to get a feeler gauge and kind of split the difference between them all to make sure. I mean, if the, the rim kind of goes up and down a little bit, you're not going to see that. It's the, when you're looking at the rim, you don't want it to do this. And that's what we're trying to eliminate or what I'm trying to eliminate. But I think this might be the best course of action. So I'm going to split the difference, center that hub as best I can, get the welder, and I'm going to tack it in three places. I'll probably tack it here, here, and there. And then I'll show you how I'm going to spin it. And hopefully it'll be within a reasonable amount of movement. In other words, at speed and looking at the entire tractor, it just won't be that noticeable. With the uh, five spokes tacked into place, and as you can see, I just I just snotted the weld on each spoke, so that way it's as stable as possible. Um, how I'm going to spin this? So I should I, when I say spin, I'm gonna, just going to put it on an axle, spin it, make sure it it rolls as true as possible. And the easiest way I came up with is just to take a three quarter inch bolt, take uh, a couple of the old roller bearings. I got one there, got one there, I got another nut. And I'm just going to put the rim on the bolt like I would an axle on the axle and I'll tighten it down and then we'll take a look at see how good it spins.
Now the nut is not tight. You know, I just, I just like, it's just, it's just finger tight, just enough to set the bearings. So, and I can feel that, you know, there's just, there's really no drag. It just will spin. So if I take it and we just kind of spin it, seems to spin pretty good. You can definitely see the outer round of the, of the rim itself. You can see it kind of going up and down a little bit. But in general, I mean, that's faster than it's pretty much going to spin. So let me spin it again. I think that's pretty acceptable. Once you put that on the tractor, you're never going to notice that. All right. Woo! That's, uh, that's big right there. So what's going to happen next? I'm not going to weld the center completely in with my welder. I'm actually going to go to my buddy's shop. He has a much better welder than mine. It's a, it's a 220 setup. Um, it really burns shit in. Ooh, excuse me. Family oriented. My mistake. Uh, it really burns stuff in really good. Um, so we'll get we'll get some real nice clean welds, especially here on the outside. That's what this is. I do have to cut that center out um, and take it over to my friend's, my buddy's place again, and machine the front of this because that I think made a huge difference getting this true. So I'll have to machine the front of that just a hair, just in order to true it up. Uh, I got to take all this ridiculous powder coat off this rim. Um, I don't know why Miller Tire or I don't know why the manufacturer that they sell, that they buy from, powder coats the rim. It's just very infuriating. Number one, I bet 90 plus percent of the population that would use this rim are going to weld a center into it. You can't weld the powder coat, obviously. But then you can't take it off with paint stripper either. You got to sit there and grind it off. So I still have to do all that. So I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get the center cut out of this one. Actually, I'm going to cut cent I'm going to cut the center out of this one first. Then take all the powder coat off of that and get it to this point. So that way I have the two rims uh, tacked together. They're straight and then I'm going to burn them in real good, and then we'll just test them out on the tractor, I guess. All right, so let me get to die grinding and cutting this off. Ooh. Oh, shit. So I hit that with my bench grinder the um, the big wire wheel on my bench grinder to clean this thing up uh, roughly just in order to get me to a place where I can put it in the lathe and face it off real lightly. You may have heard like a bang when I was cutting with the die grinder. That was actually pressure being released when one of the spokes got cut off. So kind of interesting, they, wheel horse that is, they forced the rim straight too at one point. Um, kind of like what I did with the, with my first rim. So just kind of interesting, you know, these little tidbits that you, that you learn when you, when you do these kinds of things. It, it did startle me as you probably could tell in the video. I wasn't, or I wasn't ready for a firecracker sound, uh, die grinding off this, off these spokes, but a little bit of tension. We released it. Everything is clean. I hit this with the grinder to smooth it down a little bit with my cookie wheel just to smooth it down. Wire wheeled the whole thing and let's head over and face that off so we know it's nice and true. With the center faced, now the next little project to get this done is I need to basically take that wire wheel on a die grinder and get all the white powder coat out from the inside of this ring so I can prep it for welding. With the uh, outer rim, the second outer rim, all wire wheeled down, I got all that powder coat off the inside. I did the same exact thing. 
put the outer ring on the surface plate, made found where it would weeble wobble, I guess you want to call it. Uh, clamped it down so it's straight and there's very little light, if any, coming through. So it's it's pretty flat on the surface plate. Then I ran around all the spokes with this in the magic magic lucky number 13 feeler gauge all the way around pretty much centers uh, the center in the ring. I'm going to go ahead and tack three plate three of the spokes in. We'll take it over to the makeshift spindle and we'll see if it spins fairly straight. Wheel number two is tacked together so let's just give this a spin. That looks pretty good. Let's go over in this direction. I don't see too much going on, so. That looks pretty good to me. All right, wheel number two is tacked together. I'm gonna to tack the other, I tacked three of the spokes. Now I'm gonna tack the other two and we'll take a look at the, uh, pretty much the finished product. And there they are. Obviously they need to be finished welded. Um, they are, each spoke, all five spokes are tacked really good on the back side. But overall, I'm real happy with the way they came out. They spin real nice. If there is any wobble in the rim, you're never going to see it once it's on the tractor. Um, I do need to sandblast the centers, or actually the whole rim for that matter, and then we'll do the body work on the spokes themselves. But overall, I'm real happy with the outcome of this, and I think they're really gonna look nice on the tractor. I'm gonna put these aside, because we're gonna turn my attention, or turn our attention, I should say, to the steering. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see this senior get resurrected from the dead, basically, please subscribe. Click the bell so you get notified when my videos come up and I would very much appreciate all that. Well, have a nice day.